Hi everyone, are you guys ready? Let's just start. So welcome to our mini workshop. So today, this morning, I'm gonna talk about um, how we can maintain our markers and all actually use our materials in the best way we can. So this morning, we're gonna talk about br very briefly on how to take care of your markers and your materials and the best way to refill them and store them. And in the afternoon, we're gonna talk a little bit more about how traveling with those in a safe way and a, in a very nice way, right? So for starters, I'm gonna like to show you, do you have on your tables um, a, a kit? So this is the empty marker that we're gonna refill in today. So we're gonna start opening our box. If you can do it with me. We have a bulb with a plastic needle here for those who never uses this before. And our ink bottle already comes with a lid on, right? So unscrew the lid. I'll wait for you guys. Now we're gonna pick up the ink. So um, insert the needle here at the neck of the bottle. Screw in tight, right? So when you've done this, we're gonna flip it over Squeeze one time and up. release. Now we flip the bottle again, unscrew slowly, and the ink is trapped in the bubble. Do not squeeze it, right? So the ink is trapped in the bubble. Yeah, don't squeeze it yet. <laughs> so now we're gonna always remember, refill your markers with the cap off, always off. We need the air to flow. So this is a very important uh, tip. Leave the cap of your markers off when refilling, okay? So now we're gonna insert here in this little um, hole here that we have at the end of the marker. Okay, you, you heard a click. Now we have a touch. And slowly, very slowly, at your eye line, we're gonna show, see it together, see? Start squeezing very slowly to see every single drop that is falling off. This empty marker is cool because we can see the ink soaking in the felt inside. Are you guys seeing that? If you f go too fast, what, what's gonna happen is, and I'm gonna do it just for the sake of the demonstration here. If you go too fast, it's gonna happen like this. See? So you wasted a lot of ink inside of the tank, and when you're traveling or even moving your, with your markers, they will leak. So the leakage that you can have, m most of the times, can be caused because of this. Overfilling or too fast. I'm sorry guys, have you, are we able to see? Yeah? Okay. And you, you let it rest on the perfect, we have the top, Top off, cap off, let it rest here. And slowly the sink it go, is gonna be um, embedding all the felt and it's gonna reach the tip. I have something here that we can use. Let's do it again. So let's screw here again, flip it over, one squeeze, let it go, turn it back on, unscrew it. Gently, hear the click, firmly but slowly, dripping, pick, 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 one drop at a time. So when you're refilling your markers back home, remember the steps and go slowly, okay? So that's the reason we always refill our markers on the night before or the day before of our gig, right? And now I'm gonna show you something. When you're on the go, you're working, for example, on a outdoors, on a park or something, and it's too sunny and your markers are getting dry really fast. So you can put a drop here in the nib. And it's gonna help the process. It's ready to, to go. almost instantaneously. 
The only thing that you have to keep in mind is when you're refilling uh, outliners, there are the orange markers. So they print black also, right? They print black. But they, are, they have the body orange. That's the, to differentiate them from the other ones. So this is a perma permanent marker. It'll dry when the ink is in touch with oxygen, meaning air, right? So if you leave the cap off on this one, it's going to ruin your marker because it's going to be dry and you, you won't be able to write anymore. So remember, with the outliner, that is the orange body, always put the cap on when you're writing, when you're using cap on. Okay? So to refill this one is the same process. The ink to refill this one, it's out, it has the tag that it's orange as well. See? Because when I started to use those, I made this mistake. So by a mistake, I just picked up the black regular ink and I refilled my marker. So remember, orange with orange, right? So when refilling this one, also cap off. Same process with the needle. I'm going to do it for you. Again, unscrew it. Pretty fast. Flip off. Not gonna do it because it's already filled up, right? Imagine I did. Let it rest for a little while. Don't go away, don't walk away and leave it because you will forget and it will ruin your marker. So for a few seconds, 12, 20 seconds, done. Cap off. Is it still coming down, the ink? So you leave it with the cap on here. So this is a very, very useful ah, instrument for us. <laughs> So cleaning, let's move to cleaning. When I say cleaning, uh, what happens often is your markers get like this when you're using it. So all filled with ink, right? So when we're talking about outliner ink, just pick up a paper tissue or a paper towel and use, soak it in a warm water, it is warm, just clean it up. And it's off. Outliner, you always use warm water, not cold. It's going to help the molecules on the ink to polymerize, to get together and whoop, get caught on, the, on the, this one. Um, and when I say cleaning is because sometimes we're working and, uh, and it gets dirty and it gets all messy. So always have a cloth or something when you, when you have your markers on. So is if it's the body of the marker? Oh, it's not going. Oh, yeah. Warm water will take it. So I'm, I'm tainting the marker red. Sorry. off off okay so remember this outliner ink warm water to remove be very careful when removing when filling your markers with the client surroundings so that's another reason I always tell you to do it back home and in a table with a safe environment and especially a stand like this so you have control of your markers if you're on the go and you are rushing use tape or something to keep the marker in the table so just he's not gonna fall off Okay, and roll over and stain whatever, your clothes or something else. I have a leftover ink here. Put the cap on, screw it, and done. So that, that's now perfect segue for the next one, that it's cleaning your ink bottle. So after you refill your marker, put the ink, the residual ink back into the, the bottle, and then let's do like this. Squeeze one time. Water got in, little shake. Again. And. Yes. Paper tissue is good as new. And why I'm doing this? Because if you, if you keep this ink in, it could cloth your needle. So it would be difficult to refill afterwards. Right, so to avoid this, especially with the outliner, I would recommend doing the same, the rinse with warm water afterwards. 
So make sure you have an empty bubble here. And then do the same thing with warm water. to clean it up. Give a little shake, a few rounds, and it's good to go. Okay? Any questions on this one? Good. So now we're gonna put this back on, and that's done. If you, if you wanna have the original cap on, that's perfect, and I'm gonna talk about later on the traveling, but this is when you want to store them with the cap on. It could be this one, or it could be the one with the needle, the bulb, doesn't matter. Now we have this one, so we can actually carry it over easily, right? And now we go, we're gonna move to the storage. So the, the right way to store all the markers, that's a beautiful um, visual that we have here. We, you can download this at noiland.com slash markerpedia. So it has the perfect um, way to store them because each one of them needs to be in the perfect position or the, the nib will be dry. So for the number one, all of those, number one, big one, fine ones, always store them with cap, with the cap, looking, with the nib downwards, always, because you keep the, the nib moist enough when you're gonna use it, it's good to go. If you, do, if you store it like this, it's gonna be dry and it's gonna, the gravity will pull, pull the ink down and it's gonna be dry and you are over refilling your marker. So it's storage, it's something that is important to keep our markers in good shape and avoid leakage and something like that, right? Got it. So when we're working on using our markers, um, it's important, we have this uh, cotton cloth bag that we put our markers that need refilling and we secure them in a safe place because it's not nice when you're in the middle of the recording and you need a marker and it's dry. So separate your markers always when you're working to understand which ones need refilling or not. And this is a, a very nice gift for you to have and, and use it. But here you can store your markers in the right position. And when you're, you hit your station to work, you will look very good and professional because it's not a mess on the table. It's everything in the way. And you can grab your tiny little box and move and record at another room or something. You can move around easily. And personally, what I do, I have uh, several boxes uh, back home on my, at my office with the markers that I need. So on the day before a gig, I prepare my, my, my carrying case. I select my markers, I refill them, and I just take the box and put it in my carrying case, and I'm, I'm good to go. So there's no running with a lot of markers, and I don't know where to put them. I love those boxes because they fit perfectly on my carrying case that I'm gonna show afternoon in the afternoon. Um, and that's the reason I have a lot of them. <laughs> um, cleaning, refilling, and storaging. I think that that was the propo uh, proposal for today, uh, for this session. Do you have any other questions? No? Good. So the kit that you have, it's good to go. It's, you can take it with you. Thank you. <laughs>